The youth group meets today for a pizza party at 11.30 in the lounge. Just give me a chance to go downstairs and say hi to people. I'll be in there. We have food. We have pizza. We have drinks. We're going to have a good time. So that's today at 11.30. Um, and in a minute, before the kids come up, I just want to say something. We lost a good friend, as you know, and we celebrated Judy Peterson's life on Friday. And uh, the, as we were praying for the women who are going on retreat next weekend, it reminded me of something that I said during Judy's funeral sermon, she was a, a faithful member of the group that called themselves the Bad Girls of the Bible. And uh, she and her husband hosted that meeting there, and I believe that's still going to continue to meet at her house. And I said, I was talking about the fact that I, I like that group because I have nothing to do with organizing it or supervising it. And in fact, I don't believe it can be organized or supervised. But I went on to say that I am just so grateful for what that group of, of the bad girls and the women's retreat has meant to the women who participate. But also, you all have made our church better because of, of your, your gatherings and the things you have done together. I just, every once in a while, I want to say that. So thank you very much for, for being so bad. <laughs> You're not really that bad. Really average. I, we, could, we could say that. Yeah. Anyway, just wanted to say that. Let's turn the kids loose. There's other announcements in the bulletin, but I've talked long enough. Time to sing. Would you like to sing a solo? What would you like to sing? <laughs> so I thought you said sure. Good morning. Good morning. I'll back up. Good morning. So quiet. You absolutely may. That why are they so quiet? Did you use medication? <laughs> Not today. No, but this one, the instigator, I said, you will walk up He did. He walked walk right down the aisle. Everybody's very quiet. <laughs> Are they all right? Yes. All right. Okay. They were plenty loud. Okay. 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 Um, I don't know if it's gotten out yet because I'm a little late with the newsletter getting out, but on May 3rd, Pastor Jeff Hoffman is going to be using the Sunday, which is the Sunday that the kids do the readings, they do the ushers, they do the songs, they do all of that. All right. So Mother's Day, we'll look forward to that. Does anybody know what it was on Wednesday this past week? Did you do anything at school about what? Earth Day. Yeah, it was Earth Day on Wednesday. A reminder to take care of our beautiful planet. Does anybody see what I put up there? What's over there behind Emily? My Earth Ball. Yes, we have the Earth with us today. Well, today in church, it's Shepherd Sunday where Jesus says, I'm the Good Shepherd. I'm your friend. I take care of you, and I want you all to be shepherds and take care of each other and take care of the earth. So I got thinking about that, and I decided I wanted to sing for you a song. I didn't write this song, but I really like this song. And this is my song about recycling, which means reusing things and taking care of the earth and avoiding pollution. So this is my favorite song about recycling. And now that I think of it, this is the only song I know about recycling. But it's uh, the Garbage Blues. It really isn't garbage till you mix it all together. It really isn't garbage till you throw it away. So separate your paper, plastic, compost, glass, and metal. Then you get to use it all another day. Oh, there's garbage in the kitchen. There's garbage in the bathroom. There's garbage in the basement and in the backyard too. Hey, sometimes it seems like we are filling the world with garbage. And that's the kind of thing gives me the garbage blues. Oh, it really isn't garbage till you mix it all together. It really isn't garbage till you throw it away. 
So separate your paper, plastic, compost, glass, and metal. Then you get to use it all another day. Well, some people say we really ought to burn it. It makes new jobs and creates electricity. But if you're going to burn it, well, then you're going to breathe it. And what you're going to breathe? Hey, there's no guarantee. Oh, it really isn't garbage till you mix it all together. It really isn't garbage till you throw it away. So separate your paper, plastic, compost, glass, and metal. Then you get to use it all another day. Hey, don't put it in a landfill. It gets in your drinking water. You'll hurt the fish and beaches if you toss it in the sea. We all have to recycle. That's the solution to pollution. Don't leave it up to others. It's up to you and me. Oh, it really isn't garbage till you mix it all together. Clap your hands. Isn't garbage till you throw it away. So separate your paper, plastic, compost, glass, and metal. Then you get to use it all another day. And then you get to use it all another day. Oh yeah, take care of the earth. All right. You are all earth shepherds. Do good. That's what Kinoa told me. Do good. <laughs>